Hey guys, today I am reviewing a brand new shoe by Adidas for powerlifting called the Total. These were designed in part by my friend Sam Locke, um, and I was very excited to get them. They haven't been advertised by Adidas at all. They're not even available on the Adidas US website. I think they are available in Germany and they're available on some third party retailers. So in the comments below, or description below rather, I will post uh, a link. I have no connection to Adidas other than I'm friends with Sam. So I'm not getting any kickbacks for this or anything. Um, and I'll try to make it as honest a review as possible. So I have only worn them for one, one workout. So keep that in mind. Um, out of the box, pretty cool. Um, they've got a lot of nice details so zero degree drop on the, the little heel um, these are flat sole shoes it says the total that's the name of the shoe on the uh the little hook here and yeah otherwise pretty nice they come with just one pair of insoles um just regular old flimsy things i usually take these out right away and uh they have the nice metatarsal strap that says strength in numbers right here little details I'll show these in close-ups later um so out of the box I was pretty impressed I thought they looked very very flashy but not too uh too ridiculous so nice nice little balance there um I know they look like Sambas I actually haven't worn Sambas but they're a little different the uh the midsole or actually I guess the whole upper material upper outer material uh, this is very stretchy so that's pretty nice um because even though it appears that they're pretty narrow, that it does have a decent amount of stretch uh, through here. I don't know if these little stripes, I don't think they provide any type of support, um, but the strap does a lot. And there's a little sock type liner in here that also provides quite a bit of support. So um, a lot of, lot of support to the, through the midfoot, actually too much, uh, and I'll get to that in a bit. The toe box is actually very wide. I would say this is as wide or wider than the Reebok Power Lights. Uh, definitely wider than the Romaleos, wider than the Sabos. Um, so if you like any of those shoes, this will be plenty wide enough for you, at least in the toe area. And then I do not know the uh, height of the sole. I don't know how much this is going to elevate your foot off the ground, which is relevant for deadlifting. Uh, I can tell you it feels pretty significant. It feels about the same as the Sabo. I don't like the Sabo shoe for that reason. Uh, it definitely feels like a little bit more than the than the Reebok, um, and uh, considerably more than the the barefoot shoes. So somewhere in the middle there, I think in terms of efficiency for the deadlift, depending on your preferences. They run true to size. Uh, this is size ten, which now my now large feet fit in, um, and I don't think there's any need to size up. Um, because like I said, there is plenty of room in the toe box. I did order a size 10 and a half so I can do another review for you guys. That would be half a size up for me. I definitely wouldn't go larger than that. So in terms of uh, performance, things I like, this sole is super grippy. I don't know exactly how they did it uh, with the design here, but if you're somebody who likes to kind of screw your foot into the ground, that's a cue that you use. When you're squatting or deadlifting, you will definitely appreciate the traction that these provide. It's, it's significant. It feels a lot better even than bare feet. Um, so I do like that quite a bit. Like I said, ton of support through the midfoot. Usually I like that in a lifting shoe. Um, I have flat feet, so anything that's going to support my arches, I like. Unfortunately for me, this is so high. You can kind of see how high the instep is. Um, it's actually pretty painful and uh, I couldn't wear these for an entire training session personally. Um, but like I said, I have massive feet, so I don't know that that's relevant for everyone. Um, even without the mid uh, without the insole and even with the strap undone, I still felt like um, my arch, the arch of my foot was just being crushed. And I did not like that when I was trying to do squat or deadlift. So that's something that you might wanna watch out for. Again, I already mentioned that the toe box is pretty wide. Didn't have any issue. Um, you know, some shoes will kind of chafe in the, the heel region. I didn't have that. There's a nice amount of padding here. Um, so yeah, overall, in terms of performance on the deadlifts, uh, the big, big thing was that the, this, uh, this midfoot is too, too tight and uh, the elevation off the floor was pretty significant. For squats, I did feel like they were pretty darn nice. 
Um, this strap is high enough up that if you're somebody who likes to dorsiflex, you push your weight a little bit over the midfoot as you descend. I find that this provides a lot of support. I really, really appreciate that, even though I usually prefer to squat in uh, mid or high tops. Uh, so that, that was a nice little detail. Um, let's see, these come in two colors. So this is one colorway. The other colorway is just black and white. It looks pretty cool as well. Um, and yeah, so overall, uh, it's definitely worth considering. I think if you are somebody who likes kind of the wrestling style deadlift shoes, you will prefer these. Um, those types of shoes tend to run pretty narrow and this is wider than those. Um, but it's still, if you're somebody who likes the true type barefoot type feel, uh, this will not provide that. This is more of a uh, kind of supportive lifting shoe that's still specific enough to be be able to be used for the squat, the bench press, and the deadlift, uh, unless you like lifting in heels, obviously. So yeah, that's my really quick review of the Adidas, the total. Again, the links to purchase it are below. I don't get any sort of kickback from that. Uh, I do hope you found this helpful. Uh, I'll show you guys a, a few close-ups right now. So we have the nice little the strength and numbers detail there. Zero degree drop, the total. There you can see kind of the texture on the sole. That's the kind of high in instep that I don't like. Um, 